as part of NASA's Artemis III moon landing missions. I caught up with WSJ space reporter Micah Maidenberg. NASA awarded a nearly $3 billion contract for the Artemis III moon landing that's currently scheduled for you know sometime in 2025. 2025 is coming up pretty quickly. For SpaceX, it's a, it's a very high profile and intense objective that they have to reach. SpaceX is also planning on using Starship to carry cargo into space. SpaceX launched the largest rocket ever built in a blaze of flame and smoke, sending Starship and Super Heavy to become the largest rocket in space before it exploded. Man, Starship is a hard, 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 hard project. Um, it is so preposterously difficult that there are times where I wonder whether we can actually do this. Despite the numerous challenges and what appeared to be another failed mission, the launch marked a critical step forward for the rocket's development. After three explosive tests, SpaceX's Starship completed a fourth test flight on June 6, 2024, splashing down in the Indian Ocean successfully for the first time since it started conducting test flights last year. Starship isn't just for bragging rights, it aims to take astronauts to the Moon and Mars as a super heavy lift launch vehicle. This success is great for NASA, which awarded SpaceX a contract in 2021 to develop Starship for the Artemis III mission in 2026. Dive into Starship Super Heavy and SpaceX's advancements with detailed insights into the four test launches since April 2023. Will this advanced craft be ready for the Artemis III moon mission by 2026? SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, collectively called Starship, a behemoth, the world's most powerful launch vehicle with the spacecraft itself, acts as the second stage. It is designed to be a fully reusable launch system towering at 121 meters, 397 feet, and stretching 9 meters, 29.5 feet wide. This mighty machine can haul 150 metric tons, 148 tons of cargo and crew to orbit when fully reusable. With an expendable option reaching an even greater 250 metric tons, 246 tons. Apart from Super Heavy, Starship is a versatile spacecraft with various configurations and an integrated payload section. It stands 50 meters, 164 feet tall, and has a diameter of 9 meters, roughly 29.5 feet. With 1,200 tons, or 1.2 million kilograms of fuel, and 1,500 tons of thrust, or 14.7 million kilograms force, it can carry 100 to 150 tons, or 100,000 to 150,000 kilograms of payload, enabling point-to-point -point transport on Earth, enabling travel anywhere in the world in one hour or less. Super Heavy is the first stage or booster of the Starship launch system. Powered by 33 Raptor engines using subcooled liquid methane or CH4 and liquid oxygen LOX, Super Heavy is fully reusable and will re-enter Earth's atmosphere to land back at the launch site. The Raptor engine, a reusable methane oxygen stage combustion engine, propels the Starship system and delivers double the Falcon 9 Merlin engine thrust. Starship features six Raptor engines and three Raptor vacuum, R, VAC engines for space travel. Super Heavy utilizes 33 Raptor engines with 13 centrally located and 20 surrounding the booster's aft end perimeter. We've explored the impressive design of Starship and Super Heavy, but there's another critical factor in their development, SpaceX's unique approach to testing. Unlike traditional space agencies, which prioritize meticulous design before venturing into test flights, SpaceX embraces the motto, build, test, break, repeat. This philosophy thrives on rapid iteration, learning from failures and constantly pushing boundaries. You know, one of the main goals of, of this flight was simply to get information. The way SpaceX historically has operated is when it learns something, it uses that to try to quickly make changes, improvements, to, to iterate. This strategy has critics, but it works. SpaceX has gathered data quickly and pushed boundaries. Before the June 6, 2024 success, Starship had three failed test flights, each providing valuable data. For watching this long, here's a picture of baby capybaras. 
Tell us how many capybaras you saw in the comments below. Let's look at these tests since April 2023 to see how SpaceX transformed Starship. The first integrated flight test of Starship, or IFT-1, took place on April 20th, 2023. This marked the inaugural test flight of the complete Starship launch vehicle, consisting of both the Super Heavy booster and Starship upper stage. The mission aimed to launch, reach orbit, and perform a controlled re-entry. But let's be honest, trying to nail orbit and a controlled re-entry on the first go? Even SpaceX knew this was more challenging than rocket science. If we lift off and clear the pad, we're calling that a win. <laughs> <laughs> In a successful liftoff, Starship soared from the launch pad, reaching a record-breaking apogee of 39 kilometers, 24 miles, the highest for any Starship then. However, the celebration was short-lived. The vehicle lost control due to its thrust vector system malfunction and entered a spin. The flight termination system was initiated to mitigate the risk of ground damage destroying Starship. However, the vehicle maintained its structural integrity for nearly four minutes, exceeding the mission's primary objective. Unfortunately, the launch caused significant damage to the surrounding infrastructure, including the launch mount and propellant tanks. Testing for Integrated Flight Test 2, IFT-2 began in late October 2023, following an investigation into the issues that led to the destruction of the first Starship vehicle in April 2023. The launch license was granted on November 17, 2023, after SpaceX addressed the corrective actions identified. The second Starship and Super Heavy, second integrated flight test occurred on November 18, 2023. The IFT-2 achieved a successful hot stage separation where the upper stage ignited engines before physically separating from the booster. Unfortunately, the success was short-lived. Starship lifted off successfully, but lost thrust vector control and entered an uncontrolled spin. The flight termination system detonated as planned to prevent damage on the ground, though the vehicle remained intact for nearly four minutes. Despite the unplanned destruction, the test demonstrated Starship and Super Heavy's ability to work together and provided valuable data for future development. SpaceX investigated the cause of the malfunction while planning for a potential third integrated flight test, IFT-3 launch. NASA and SpaceX leadership expressed confidence in the program's progress toward deep space exploration. The Federal Aviation Administration declared a mishap and initiated an investigation overseen by SpaceX. This event also prompted discussions about streamlining the launch licensing process. Starship's third integrated flight test, IFT-3, on March 14, 2024, achieved mixed results. The craft soared to a record 234 kilometers, 145 miles, within Earth's atmosphere, completed its full engine burn for the first time, successfully transferred fuel between stages, separated Starship's upper stage from the booster, and tested the payload deployment system. However, the Super Heavy booster was destroyed due to the premature shutdown of six engines, and the Starship upper stage broke apart during re-entry due to various factors. Despite infrastructure damage, the launch showcased the successful collaboration between Starship and Super Heavy, yielding valuable data for future improvements. This progress came after essential modifications following the November 2023 failure, including an electric thrust vector control system and adjusted liquid oxygen venting. Investigations into the spin and payload door test status followed the launch. Though a mishap, SpaceX remained optimistic about a potential fourth integrated flight test, initially scheduled for early May 2024. However, it was delayed and later launched on June 6, 2024. NASA and SpaceX expressed continued confidence in the program's deep space aspirations, particularly Mars exploration. On June 6, 2024, SpaceX launched Starship for its fourth flight test from Starbase, Texas. The mission aimed to achieve a landing burn and soft water landing for the booster in the Gulf of Mexico, while Starship needed to survive a controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. 
the launch went smoothly, with only one of the 33 Super Heavy booster engines failing to ignite during ascent. However, the remaining engines completed a boost backburn and a jettison of the interstage section to reduce weight. Three Raptor engines then reignited for the landing burn, bringing the booster to a controlled splashdown in the Gulf, where it gently touched the water surface before tipping over. Starship, meanwhile, followed its planned suborbital trajectory and, crucially, unlike the previous March flight, endured the peak heating phase of re-entry. While it sustained some damage to a flap, the spacecraft continued a controlled descent and executed a landing burn before splashing in the ocean roughly 65 minutes after liftoff. This successful test flight demonstrated the reusability of the Starship system and its ability to withstand the extreme heat of atmospheric re-entry. Data gathered from this mission will be invaluable for SpaceX's ongoing development of Starship. In April 2024, Elon Musk shared their plan to increase the Starship rocket's height to 150 meters, about 500 feet, 20% taller than the current Super Heavy, as part of SpaceX Mars mission ambitions. Elon Musk shared details about SpaceX's Starship program during a recent live stream. Musk revealed plans for Starship's fifth flight, which could happen as soon as next month. The Starship's heat shield is a crucial factor, one of the most complex components. The heat shield is built from thousands of tiles, and SpaceX will be upgrading these tiles before the next flight. A persistent challenge for Starship has been heat shield tiles falling off during flight and on the ground. To address this, SpaceX will add a new layer beneath the tiles for additional protection during re-entry in case tiles detach. We're replacing the whole heat shield on the ship, said Musk. The new tiles are about twice as strong as the ones from the last flight. We're also adding an ablative secondary structure like a silicone felt behind the tiles. This material isn't reusable, but it will protect the ship if a tile cracks or comes loose. Musk discussed using the launch tower to catch the booster during Starship's fifth flight. He acknowledged the challenge, estimating a 50% chance of success. The booster will return towards the launch tower, attempting to latch onto the catching arms. If the system detects any issues, the booster will divert for a safe ocean landing. Looking beyond Starship, Musk also reiterated in the live stream his vision for a self-sustaining city on Mars. He believes a three-year time frame is achievable for the first crewed mission to Mars. Due to the alignment of Earth and Mars, a potential strategy would involve sending a small initial group to confirm landing capabilities, followed by a gradual increase in the number of ships sent every two-year window. NASA's Artemis program will pave the way for this vision of a permanent settlement on Mars. Artemis will test technologies and strategies critical for a successful Martian mission by using the Moon as a proving ground. It will also offer invaluable experience in long-duration spaceflight, a crucial factor in the journey to Mars. So in a way, right now, the, the, one of the big next steps for the Artemis program is for SpaceX to show that it can operate Starship the way it's like laid out to do. Starship, a reusable spacecraft designed to carry crew and cargo, is taking significant strides toward making this vision a reality. Successful test flights and the development of advanced engines like the Raptor Point to a promising future for Starship. Swing by our channel and watch our video on Space Seclus's plans to land on Mars. We also have an excellent video explaining everything about NASA's significant return to the moon with the Artemis program. Take it! What space stuff do you like? Do you have questions about space? Does a recent excellent space find excite you? Do you have any updates you want us to check out? Comment below and also with your best dad joke. The winner gets a virtual high five from us. For the latest space updates relevant to you, including glimpses of future deep dive videos like this one, check out our This Week in Space segment. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive more exciting content about science and space. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, 